What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and today is a very special day because today is Valentine's Day so of course in today's video as you can see in the title of this video we are of course to be talking about some of the best and worst Ninjago couples in of course the franchise of Ninjago and without further doing let's begin starting off with of course the few of the well-known couples we gotta start off with of course Jaya, which is of course the ship name for both Mia and Jay. Now this is of course many Ninjago fans favorite Ninjago couple because of course they were of course you know Mia and Jay started like you know dating and like of course in the pilots and then of course Jay wants of course Mia to be his yang and of course they became you know yin yangs together and that's sort of like being married in the real world, but Ninjago is like a yin yang, or it's like, like you know, friendship bracelets or something. I, I'm not sure of how marriage works in the show, but anyways, you know, this couple is really nice and probably one of, one of the best well known, of course, couples out there in Ninjago. Up next is also a well known couple, and we of course got Kyler, which is of course the ship name for both Kai and Skyler. Now in Tournament and Elements, Kai of course flirted Skylar, and then in the end of Season 4, they eventually become friends. And of course, Kai and Skylar did reunite together in of course the Oni Trilogy. And then when they're battling of course the Overlord in of course Crystallize, Kai would of course tell Skylar that they're officially a couple, but it goes horribly wrong. So uh, I guess it's about time we made it official. We'll be a couple from now on. Cool. Are you serious? Uh, uh, yeah? Well, great timing, Kai. You disappear for ages and I don't hear from you like I've been forgotten. Then out of nowhere, during the biggest crisis ever, you spring this couple stuff on me? And to be honest, I think Kyler is a pretty cool couple. And you know, it's actually pretty cool. It is, of course, uh, my second favorite couple between, of course, Jaya. And overall, I really love, of course, the dynamic duo between Kai and, of course, Skylar. And finally, in the well-known couples, we got Pixane, which is, of course, the ship name for, of course, Pixel and Zane. Now, I really love, of course, their couple relationship in, of course, Season 3. And, when, of course, when Pixel came back in, of course, Season 8 with a, with a new body, they, of course, became a couple again after, you know, Zane putting Pixel in her you know in his head and that was kind of something you know they were just like migrating with pixel uh, let's not get into any fan fictions right now but anyways speaking of the two characters really love their you know their couple dynamic and of course they're like the only couple to be of course robots so it's kind of cool that of course two ninjas are of course dating each other so that's pretty great for them. And I really love the touching moment of, of course, Pixel, of course, telling his final word to, of course, Zayn before he eventually, you know, dies, but eventually comes back. Zayn, I was once just an android, a machine. And then, long ago, in a different battle, you gave up half your power source to save me. In that moment, you changed me. I felt things... I never felt before. I, I do not know if there is anything after this life for beings such as you or I. But if there is, I will find you there. Goodbye, my saint. Overall, nothing else to talk about, of course, the robot couple, but let's move on with the other couples. Now, this couple might get hate, but trust me, I don't know between the drug community if they like or don't like but of course we got Larumi which is of course the, the ship name of Lloyd and Ruby. Now many Ninjago fans hate this couple because of how rude Harumi is and of course betraying on Lloyd while other fans seem to like this couple of of course Lloyd you know flirting on the princess Jade or the Jade princess and yeah, I mean, that's Lloyd in, of course, um, you know, the only trilogy, you know, him and her and, of course, Crystallize. 
was something alright, but yeah. Anyways, my thoughts on this couple. Now, I, I am gonna give praise on this couple. It is, a, you know, a great couple in like the LD trilogy. But it was handled poorly in the first crystallize. I wish they could, you know, fix and adjust some problems with their their relationship in crystallize. But overall, I mean, it's not a bad couple. I say this is like a mid couple. I mean, it's an okay couple, I guess. I mean, nothing, you know, you know, great about these two characters. I mean. There are great dynamics in, of course, the Oni trilogy, and poor writing in, of course, Crystallize. So, yeah, we'll never get to see them, of course, together ever again. Now, all the ninjas have their own girl, except for Cole. However, Cole really loves Cake, and it's a funny, you know, couple between Cole and, of course, Cake, and, of course, Food, because Cole loves Cake and Food. And, you know, this couple between them, is, you know, honestly, one of the best creative Ninjago couples out there, in my opinion. I mean, Cole is just in love with, like, food and stuff. is you know, very heartwarming to, of course, the character itself. But, of course, that's, you know, not, you know, of course, his actual couple. But his actual couple is, of course, him and, of course, Princess Vanya. Which, of course, they're not even a real couple at all. They're just, like, best buds, like, best friends and stuff. They're not... Like saying that they're of course a couple, but you can see that they were of course Intentionally flirting in of course Master of the Mountain, but they're not intending to be a couple But if you guys want to you can you can say that they're a couple me personally I don't think they're a couple. I mean Cole can just be fine as you know him. He's the oldest uh, Member in the team anyways, so he could just be in love with food. So yeah now this couple's not really a couple, but they're instead best friends, and we of course got Sora and Eren. Now they're not really couples, but they're sort of like best friends, and I of course gonna have them. Cause they're sort of, you know, sort of besties, almost like flirting, I'm joking. But like, I don't know, I just had to add them because, yeah, Eren, Sora, you gotta have like the new ninjas and stuff like that. And I don't know, maybe in the future of Dragon's Rising, they might have their own, you know, boyfriend and girlfriend, and of course, in Dragon's Rising, but who knows, they might secretly flirt each other. I'm not sure. It's up to your fan fiction right here. Now, this couple is a bit controversial, but I'm not sure. But we, of course, got Usaka, which is, of course, the ship name of, of course, Wu and Masako. And, of course, I mean, you know, if Wu actually married Misako, then we had Lloyd because, you know, the theory that, of course, Wu is actually Lloyd's dad it would be a great theory and if it was true because, you know, Master Wu and, of course, Lloyd does have the same hair because they're both blonde. And who knows, maybe, uh, you know, Wu is, of course, Lloyd's dad. So, who knows, it's just a theory, a Ninjago theory. But that's, you know, evidence that, you know, we could see if it actually happens. But we do know that, of course, Garudon eventually falls in love with, of course, Misako. And, you know, if this would happen, then that would be crazy. But I don't know if this was controversial to Ninjago fans, but I don't really think so. But if you guys really like, uh, of course... Uh, Wu X, of course, Masako. Comment down below. Do you really like Wu X Masako or prefer Masako X Garmadon? Leave it down in the comments down below. But without further ado, let's keep continuing with the couples. Now, this couple is really funny. I, of course, added this couple. And we, of course, got Vinny and Garmadon. I feel like their dynamics and chemistry together in, of course, Christopher is, of course, a really fantastic episode. Of course, like a housewife and just like a dad who's like, I don't know, drunk and stuff. Like, that's a pretty cool dynamic between, of course, Vinny and, of course, Garbodon. And, you know, I really like their chemistry in, of course, the Christopher episode. And, you know, I really love uh, Vinny's character being like the housewife. And Garbodon is just like a chill dad, you know, drunk, just drinking like sodas and pizzas. And, yeah. I mean, I really love, like, if they actually, you know, 
or actually were a couple, then that's kind of crazy that they were like actual couples. Even though that Garmin of course, met Vinny in, of course, the end of season 10. So, I mean, wouldn't it be funny if there were actual couples? Comment down below if you think Vinny X Garmin is a great couple. Moving on with, of course, the bad couple. Starting right here, we, of course, got Ronin X Dareth. Now, them being a couple doesn't really work together. I mean, if there were couples, I mean, Ronan, of course, would steal all of Dara's fake trophies. And that's basically it, what I got for this couple. I mean, why would Dara, of course, you know, date an anti-hero character like Ronan? Like, why? I mean, Ronan does sell good products like Arrowblade or... You know, the Fang Blade or stuff like that, but like, you know, you know, Ronan can give, you know, a lot of fake trophies to, of course, Dareth, even though if they were stolen or something, but in the end, I mean, nothing really to talk about these, these two characters as couples. I mean, that's pretty much it, I guess. This next couple is pretty weird because we got Chronix and Machia, which is, of course, a snake general, which is, of course, a Vermilion. It's kind of weird that, of course, Acronix was flirting to Commander Machia, and of course, she is a Serpentine, so it's kind of weird that a human like you is, of course, dating a Serpentine, which is kind of weird because the Vermilion army are, co you know, are co combinations of metal and a bunch of snakes, so that's kind of weird and disgusting if I'm gonna go to the fan fiction way of how disgusting it would be if, you know, Chronix would actually date, you know, Machia, so... There's nothing really I want to talk about here because this channel might get demonetized, so I'm not gonna talk about a lot right now. Up next, we got Garbodon and Chen. Nothing really to talk about these two characters as couples, but I added these two as couples because... Yeah, I mean, they really talk a lot to each other, you know, back in the day when they were, of course, you know, when Chen was, of course, a teacher, while, of course, Garzal was, of course, a student, and there's nothing really I'm gonna talk about right here. Just the fact that, like, if they were a couple, I would just put them in, like, the bad list right here. Up next, we got the first Finjitsu Master, and, of course, the Overlord. Now, having the creation of power, of course, Dating the creation of destruction, being a couple, I mean, I mean, it sounds good, but you know, first Vinjitsu Master, and of course the Overlord. I mean, nah, I don't think so. I mean, it's probably like higher up between, you know, good. Probably it's mostly bad. Like it's a bad idea to have the first Vinjitsu Master date the Overlord, even though the Overlord has many different forms. So, I don't know which one, uh, of course, the first Finjutsu matcha would date, but mostly, I don't know, the spirit version, or, I don't know, the dragon, or the golden master, or the crystal king. It doesn't really matter which form the overlord would take, but I don't feel like this fits, you know, as a couple in general, to be honest. So, that's basically it about these two as couples. Now, this one is a pretty weird couple because we got Wu and Fate. Now, you know, it's kind of weird that if there were couples, it will be a way a huge age gap difference between Wu and Fate. We don't know how old Fate is, but we do know how old Wu is thanks to Tommy Andreasen. He's like over like a thousand years old. And... Yeah, having a huge age gap between Fate and Wu, it's kind of weird that you two are actually dating. Even though Wu was like a teen and of course hunted and a kid, like, it would be still weird. It will be a huge age gap difference between, of course, a kid Wu, a teen Wu, or even a thousand, a thousand year old Wu dating, I don't know how old Fate is, like, uh, she's like, what, a dragon hunter, so I don't know how old she is. I mean, she lives in the first realm, so maybe she's like a thousand years old just like Wu, but who knows? If she's like younger than Wu, then that's a huge age gap difference right here. So possibly one of the weirdest, you know, couples ever. Now finally, 
this is probably the worst couple yet in Ninjago history. And we of course got Ronin and Sako. Now, of course, this is probably the worst couple ever, like I said, because Ronin was of course hitting on Sako for some reason. And this was only a video game exclusive, so it was not of course in the TV show. But said it was of course in Shadow of Ronin. And it was something alright, and thank god it was non-canon to the show. Thank the lord that of course if these two characters were actual actual couples, I would just bleach my eyes out right now. So thank god this couple is non-canon to the show. Thank god. And those are some Ninjago couples that are good and bad. Comment down below if I miss any and let me know down in the comments down below of your favorite Ninjago couple down in the comments down below. But until then, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys subscribe, turn on notifications whenever I post a brand new video. And until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!